everybody. Yes, I am in a different angle and location. We got some new stuff from my neighbors yesterday. So we got the Ottawa, Ottawa, how do you say the name of this thing? <laughs> and then we got, if I can push it this way, or I'll take, there we go. And we got the couch. I'll take better pictures after I get off. Okay. But yeah, we got a couch in here as well. So I'm sitting in a totally different angle. So we will see how this works, but yay. And I'll be in here for probably about the rest of this month and then move into my bedroom. <laughs> But anyways, this vlog is going to be me reading all 10 sagas. Uh, they get caught up before I think the next one comes out in January. So we got Saga Volume 1, Saga Volume 2. I just wanted to show you the different covers. Saga Volume 3, Saga 4, Saga 5. Saga 6, Saga 7, Saga 8, Saga 9, and Saga 10. We're going to try to finish these up by tomorrow night. Today is Sunday, by the way. The, what is today's date? Um, the 6th. So we're going to have a, try to have this done by set, um, Monday night. Um before I go to bed on Monday night. So, <laughs> I mean, they're not that long. I've read um, two or three of them, maybe four. I can't remember. I think three. I think I read the first three before, the first two at least, I know. I'm pretty sure it was three. So yeah, it's very heavy. I know they're from like different, um, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not good at stuff like that, but they're not supposed to be together, and they fall in love, have a baby, and they have to run away because they're not supposed to be together, you know. It says it's right here, um, yeah. So. It says it's a sweep and tell of one young family fighting to find their place in the universe. When two soldiers from opposite sides of a never-ending galaxy war fall in love, they risk everything to bring a fragile new life into a dangerous old world. Fantasy and science fiction are wed like never before in this first volume of this sexy, subversive, ongoing epic. So, uh, I just want to warn you right now that there is going to be spoilers if I feel like giving some spoilers. So, just be prepared. Of course, I will let you know when there's going to be a spoiler. For you guys, if you haven't read it, any of these, you will, you know, be able to get out if you're going to plan on reading them. Or if you started them, started them, but haven't finished them, you know, I'll say like, okay, I'm done with this book. Here's spoilers if I decide to do it and so on and so on. So we will see. These aren't very long. So hopefully I will finish this by tomorrow night before I go to bed. Otherwise, um, Tuesday at the latest. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think it's going to be a fun time. Fun, 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 fun time. I know that parts of this is sad and some of it's really, yeah. It's so good, though. I remember, like, really, like, being like, ooh, this is going to be good. Of course, I won't be able to show you a lot of the pictures because, you know, there's nudity in these books. Like, you know. It, it begins with them having... Her having the baby and then it's tell uh, I think the baby is the girl the, the baby is what is who's telling the story if I'm not mistaken about what happened throughout her life I think I'm not really sure about the whole thing because it's been a while since I read this but yeah there is definitely nudity like there's boobs shown in here and yeah so yeah, definitely there's some nudity. I don't know, like, if it gets more graphic than just the boobs. Because I don't remember. Like I said, it's been a while. And since I read it. But I remember loving the couple that I read. So we will see. But I haven't read anything yet. So I will be back. I'll probably update you after... If not every one, then after every two. But I'll start out at every one. Um, after every one. 
update you, but as I go on, I'll probably update you every other book until we get to the last couple, and then I'll probably do my reaction to the last, the last one. I'm probably going to do like I like to do sometimes where I read it and you guys can see what I think. I know they said number, I think it was number nine that they said was really, like, it ended in a, it was either eight or nine that they said it ended in a major, um, major, spo uh, not spoiler, major cliffhanger. So, yeah, this is what we're going to be, I'm going to be tempting to do. These ones I didn't mention in my, um, uh, in my TBR for this month because there were some books that I just didn't want to mention. And then there's some books that I didn't get yet, and I wanted to talk about them in the, in the, as I'm getting them. So, yes, I'm excited. So, stay tuned, and I hope some of you guys stay and take this journey with me. As we read, as I read the next, I mean, the, the ten books that are out right now in the saga series. All right, I will be back after I read one or two. Hi, everybody. So, I finished volume one. Just like the first time I read it, four stars. This is just like when they first escape and when they first name um, Hazel. That's the little girl's name. Um, and then stuff like that happens. <laughs> so, it was, yeah, it was good. Like I said, there will be spoilers in here, so don't watch this part right here and just wait until I until this one is picked is in my hands up and then you can um you can listen again because I, I don't have nothing really to spoil about this one because I just started it but anyways yeah um yeah okay so this part ends with his I forget their names I'm always forgetting their names um but I think hers is Elena or Elena, but I cannot remember if his is Mako, Marco, something like that. But with his parents showing up, like towards the end, and and yeah, just say her and his dad don't have the first, the good first, you know. What are you gonna say? Good meeting, <laughs> but she has reasons. So yeah, I'm sorry it's so dark, but like I said, you know, this is the new norm here for a little bit. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot of violence in here, of course, because it's wartime and slaves, and, not slaves, but like, well, yeah, I guess you could say slaves. Um, she, um, one of the bad guys, even though he's bad, he helps this other girl because she's so young and she's, oh my gosh, she's in slavery, like a slave to them and they, like, she's super young and they like are already like you know, pimping her, I mean, like, making her sleep with people and stuff, and she's, like, I forget how old she is, but she's not very old. She's, like, I don't even think she's in her, like, tent, like, in, even, like, in her, you know, I think she's, like, six or something like that, six or eight. She's very young. So, um, but he rescues her, even though he's a bad guy, but there's other guys that are worse than him. So, okay, that's it. That's basically what happened there. And then this one... Um, yeah, this one is just starting back up. It was talking a little bit about uh, Marco or whatever his name, um, dad. And it was also talking about, um, the first time him and Hazel met. And that's all that happened so far. No spoilers. I ain't really no spoilers to me. But yeah, so. But yeah, I will update you guys when I finish this or tomorrow uh, but dinner is ready, so I'm going to let you guys go. And I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye for now. Hi, everybody. So I moved over here for it wouldn't be so dark. So at nighttime, I'll be, if I'm updating, when it starts getting dark, I'll start updating. <laughs> you know, what you call it. But I did manage to finish volume two. I would have read more, but I was doing read and sprints, and I didn't want to get, you know, like real far ahead during read and friends, so I was reading a different book. But yeah, this one <sighs> was pretty interesting. It was still a four, but it felt 
more to a four and a half. So that was good. Um, yeah. Um, this one definitely was already darker and grit and sadder. And yeah, so that's all I'm going to say. I don't want to like really like spoil every single book, but I will say I, I just really liked it. I show pictures. Let me find a picture that I can show you that. Oh, no, nope, that would be too graphic. That other page would have been fine, but the page be after that one, yeah. So this is okay to watch, to look at. I'll put it back here. But, yeah, I don't want to put it too close in case you would think that's spoilers. So I don't want to see you to see the words. So, yeah. But I do like, uh, <laughs> I do like the pictures. The dirty daughter, oh my god, their little baby's killed. So, yeah. There are, like, parts in here that I definitely can't show you because of, you know, YouTube would be like, nope, no, 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 no. But yeah, it's really, really intriguing. I do not think I'm going to get this done by tomorrow night, though. Like, I wanted to all the books because I'm getting tired. But I might, like, try to read at least a little tiny bit in volume three before I go to bed. Um, sorry, I'm a little itchy. <laughs> but yeah, I think I will try to read. A little bit more. <laughs> oh boy. So, I don't think I'll finish volume three tonight, but I might like read a few more pages. I mean, at least get started on it just to see what I'm thinking. But yeah, like here's a picture, an illustration, whatever you want to say. There's this illustration. It's just for you can draw it, try to draw it, it says, I guess. It says, it's not part of the story. But that will have her boobs. I can't see that. I guess if you want to try to draw it, you can. I don't know why that's there, just to show it. Oh, okay, this is says it's a it's a book. It says exclusive volume one book plate for New York Comic Con twenty twelve, and then limited edition volume one book plate for London store. So that's what that's supposed to be. But yeah, two down, eight more to go. Yeah. But. I don't think I'll update you guys anymore tonight. Because it's, um, it's after 11. But yeah. Sorry, my neck is a little itchy. But definitely glad I decided to read on in this. Um, um, what was I going to say? I think my favorite, excuse me, my favorite character in here so far is Hazel, which is the daughter. She's the one that's telling the story, so that's fun. At least I think it sounds like it's her, so yeah. But I'm going to let you guys go, and when I finish the next one, I will update you, which will be sometime tomorrow. I'm hoping... If I don't finish this, that I can at least get where all I have is like two or three more volumes on Tuesday. <laughs> but I did start this kind of late, so I figured I wasn't going to get very far. Sorry, I'm just really itchy tonight, so. But yeah, but I will, like I said, I'll like update you when I get to, excuse me. I'll either update you when I'm done with volume three or 
after I read a couple of volumes. We'll see. But yeah, I hope you guys all have a great night and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hi everybody, happy Monday. So I finished volume three of Saga before I went to bed this morning. Cause it was after midnight, I think when I finished it. No, I think that was better after it colder. And now I liked it. This one probably is my least favorite out of the three that I've read so far, but I still liked it. I'd still give it a four. Just like more like a 3.75 rounded up to a four, but yeah. And now I will be starting four. I don't know if I will finish this tonight, all ten tonight. But like I said, my goal is either tonight or tomorrow afternoon, hopefully. Um, there is voting tomorrow, so of course I'll be voting. So we'll see if I, how long it's going to take me. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be reading this. So, um, yeah, I'll let you know what I'm thinking once it's done. Um, yeah, there ain't really much to say about the third book. I don't think it was, didn't have much to um, really say. I like the, I think I would give the story a two, the artwork a two in that one. Well, no, the story probably a two, I mean 1.5, 1.75 in this the pictures like a two and a half. I don't know. Two and a half maybe. I don't know. Two and a half and a one. No. No. That's that's not being nice. It was not a one star book. <laughs> I would say I'd give the Oh, I'm grabbing the wrong way. I think I would give the art in here a two I mean a two and the story a two. Probably I'm not really sure about the whole thing. I'd have to think about it. But yeah, this one I mean, there was a couple of things that was good about it, but for the most part. But yeah, so we will see about this one. But yeah, it is definitely getting a lot darker, so there's that. But yeah, and I made me some, um, a per what do they call these things? Ganochi, whatever, potatoes, genochi, potatoes, however you say it. So, and then I, all it called, they were at, um, the things were at, um, Al's, and all they called for was, um, to put butter in it, and then you could put cheese on top, but I added a little bit of seasoning salt, and some Cajun pepper. Mm-hmm. It tastes like they need something else. I might get some ranch and dip it in the ranch. It's probably what it needs, like a dipping sauce. It kind of sticks to the roof of my mouth. And it's even some she's offering her opinion about the potatoes. Yeah, they do stick. I got some at the top of my roof, the roof of my mouth. I think some of it's because of the the potatoes. <laughs> I mean, not the potatoes, the cheese. But I'm going to let you guys go. And I will update you when I finish volume four. Bye. Hi, everybody. So I finished volumes four and volume five. Out of the two... This one was a 4.5, and this one was a 5. This one's definitely my favorite. And this one, spoilers, remember? So if you don't want to be spoiled, like I said, please don't watch. Um, yeah. So in this one, <clears throat> the parents wind up breaking up at the end, and then the mom, the grandma which is Marco's mom and the daughter all got kidnapped. Yeah. In this one. That's basically what happened in this one. Um, she started doing drugs. He got upset. He threw like veggies at her and he kicked and she kicked him out. And then she got, like I said, they got captured by this guy. Um, yeah. 
So, yeah, that's what happened in this one. In this one, Marco is trying against boilers. And in this one, Marco is trying to find his family because he knows they're taken. And he teams up with one of their enemies because someone took the uh, enemy's child and he was trying to get him back. So they teamed up together. And, um, but he took, I mean, the ma the grandma and the daughter got away, but they like, um, did a hyper jump, hyper jump, whatever you want to call it. And now, and the day, the Marco and, um, I don't always forget the, the mom's name. Alina, Alina, Elena, Alina. I can't remember, but um, they got reunited. I don't know if they'll get back together, but um, yeah, I know they broke up though. <gasps> me. Like I said the fourth one, so I don't know what happens next in the series. Of course, cause I haven't read um, book volume five. Cause it was the first time. But I don't think I'm going to get this done by Tuesday, like I was saying. Unless I really, like, have time to, like, really sit and, like, read the next five. Because it seems like all I can get is between two and two and a half done a day. But I'm hoping that I will, like, at least get volumes, let's see, six, seven, and eight tomorrow. And then just have to worry about nine and ten on Wednesday. We'll see. But, yeah. So far, it feels like the series is going to be around a four star. I heard some people are very disappointed with volume 10, which is the newest one. So, yeah. We'll see how I feel. But right now, volume 3 is my least favorite. And like I said, volume 5 is my favorite. There's a lot of action. A lot of people were being killed, though. Left and right. Yeah. So, yeah. See, what happened in the other one was the one that kidnapped them at first. Um, he killed um, the one guy's wife and took the son. And then, like I said, they um, Marco and the guy, um, or how do you say his name, and the guy team up. So, yeah. And then in this volume, the guy gets his son back and kills the guy that, what you call it, his son. But the reason why that guy did that, killed the wife and kidnapped the son is because his son died. And he blamed them because of, um, what was he, did he drink something? I'm trying to remember. I think he drank something or something that, yeah. And it made him like very, um, I forget what the word was that he said, but anyways, yeah, they, they don't, his body like be what you call it and he died because of that I can't remember what it was besides I don't want to tell you everything but yeah so this one is definitely so far the all of them are violent like I said but this one is the most violent there's a lot of bloodshed in this one so yeah but it's also very intriguing so I can't wait to read volume six to see what's gonna happen next I'll show you so she is this age at the end I'll show you so that is her as how old she is now so yeah but I can't wait to see what's gonna happen but I will update you guys sometime tomorrow after I read tomorrow's gonna be Excuse me, tomorrow's going to be a pretty busy day because um, i got to go vote, like I was saying. Um, then I'm going to come home. I might read for about an hour, hour and a half when I come home. And then um, help Hannah with the leaves for a little bit. And then after that, I can pretty much just... All I have to do is laundry, so I should be able to read after that. So... I don't I don't know what I'm making tomorrow. Most likely I'm just gonna get hamburger meat out tomorrow and have Vince and Hannah make shepherd's pie. So we will see. But I'm gonna let you guys go and I will update you guys, like I said, sometime tomorrow when I 
finish one or two more volumes. Night, everybody. Happy Tuesday, everybody. If you hear anything, it's just because Hannah's out here, so she's listening to something while I am filming. Um, I finished the next two. She ain't listening to music, so I can film. <laughs> but anyways, I finished volume six and volume seven. I'm trying to remember, did I give volume six? I think I gave three stars, 3.5, maybe. Uh, I just, there was too much. Like, I don't mind sex in books because, you know, I read a lot of my smutty books. But there was just so much sex. I can't remember if it was this or it was the one before that one, five, that had all the sex. I can't remember which one it was. But there was so much. I think this one, I'll double check, but I'm almost positive. When I do my wrap-up, you know, when I, when I talk about all, I mean, when I rank them or just tell you what I gave each volume... For, as a reminder, um, I will let you know for sure what six was. But this one, um, like I said, there are, are going to be spoilers. This is after um, after her kid, after the kid got, and the grandma got, what you call it? And, and they got, uh, yeah, got like shooted out into whatever. And then... The mom and dad were trying to um, get their daughter back. No, this is after they got the daughter back. I'm getting confused. Sorry, you guys. Five was the one that I didn't like as much. When it had all the sex in it, that's the one. Um, yeah. But I will double check with this and tell you what I gave it. This one is definitely my favorite so far. Well, I would say this or five. So maybe it wasn't five that um, I gave the low rating to. I have to look. I think five. Yeah, five was the one that had a lot. I'm going to tell you guys now because that's going to drive me insane if I don't let you know what cop <laughs> was. Let me tell you. Let's see. Yeah. Do you hate when that happens? Yes. This one, I gave a 3.25. So. Yeah. So I'm just getting all confused about this. This one was really good. A lot happened in this book. So, yeah. I don't want to really spoil you, so I'm not going to tell you too much about what happened, you know, in each of them. But, um, this one just had a lot more action in it. And, yeah. Where this one, like, towards the end of it, it got really good. Like, at first I thought it was going to be a maybe a two star and then like the last like 50 or so pages it started getting really interesting and uh, the way it ended was really good so yeah that's why it got 3.25 this one so much happened in this one but there, it was action packed because um yeah Something happened that was sad at the end of um, seven. So, but now I could go on to eight. But yeah, this one was probably my least favorite. While we're here, I'll tell you guys what all my ratings were, okay? And then we'll do it again with the wrap up. So, volume one was four stars, volume two was 4.5 stars. Volume 3 was 4 stars. Volume 4 was 4.5 stars. Volume 5 was 5 stars. Volume 6 was 3.25. And 7 was 5. But, it, but yeah, 7 and 5 are probably... Like, I'm, I'm not sure what I would, like, say which one's my favorite out of those two. Because I really liked them both. 
But there was, there was certain things that happened in each that was like fun and exciting, you know what I mean? And intriguing and stuff like that. So yeah. But once I get to done, I might just read all the next three, eight, nine, and ten, and then be back with you guys. Or me and my friend are going to do, we're not doing like actual read and sprints, you know, like where pe other people can do it. But me and my friend Janae, sometimes we like to do our own little read and sprint. So we're going to be doing a read and sprint in about 22 minutes or so for an hour. So we'll see how many I can get done in an hour. Hopefully I can get a couple done because they're only like 100 and something pages each. So if I can get two done during that hour or one and a half during that hour, then I will be able to easily finish this before either before dinner or after dinner. So yeah. So hopefully we will be done tonight. But yes, I voted. Today's Tuesday, of course, election day. I went right after I got up. I got dressed and went straight to my polling place, which is just across the street, <laughs> which is lucky because I know some people have to walk pretty far. So I didn't have to worry about that. I just had to go across the street to the little Presbyterian church. So yeah, but yeah, today's Hannah's birthday. So she's hanging out here with me. She's doing her stuff. I'm doing my stuff. But we're sitting out here together. So yes, I will update you guys. Probably after I finish all three. Hopefully it will be tonight. Otherwise, I will update you guys tomorrow. But like I said, hopefully it will be tonight. But I will talk to you guys then. And then we'll do a we'll do a final, like, just even though I just did now, told you what these seven, first seven were. The ratings again for the first five and then these two. Um, yeah. I will do it again when we're all done. And then I'll try to figure out which one is my absolute favorite out of the ten. Narrow it down to the top three. Okay, I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye. Hi, everybody. I finished up the rest of the sagas. So, eight, nine, and ten. I'm looking down here because I don't remember what I gave everything. So, eight, I gave a four two, right? No, eight, I gave a 3.25 to. 3.25, yeah. It was good, but kind of boring at the same time. There was stuff I didn't just didn't like about it. I don't know really what to say without spoiling. I don't want to spoil the last. Like I've been giving you my like spoily opinion. I mean, spoily thoughts on some of it. But the last three, I don't really think I should like say anything. Just in case you do decide that you guys ever want to read it, and I'm not like spoiling every single thing like I still like basically was pretty vague I think I don't think I like like spoiled a lot of stuff but yeah this one was just okay like it wasn't awful but it wasn't the best it was just average so like a 3.25 but I gave it a 3 on um Goodreads 9 was <laughs> I think a 4 let me double check Yes, nine was a number, was a four. This one was um, kind of boring at first. I was going to, I think, I thought it was going to be like another three star, but then the ending, something sad happened, and that made it go up a little bit. But yeah, it was good. I thought it was good. It wasn't the, my favorite. And then ten was a 3.5 three on Goodreads again. It was just okay. I mean, it wasn't bad. I just wanted more. Like, after the ninth, the ninth one, ninth book and how it ended and stuff, I just wanted like, more. And it didn't give me that more that I wanted, if that makes any sense. So, yeah. It just wasn't like, after such a good ending for nine, it just didn't, number ten just didn't live up to it. it just yeah, it was so close to being a four, but uh, there was just certain parts that was like, eh, nah, nah, nah. So I gave it a four, I mean, 3.5. I think all together I would give the whole 10 that I read, like a low four. So right at a four, you know, an average four. Almost a 3.75, but rounded up to a four. Now if we can remember what all I gave, what the all of them was that I gave, and we'll be in business. 
So, volume one, I know I gave four stars. Volume two, I gave um, four stars. That? Let me see here. I gotta go and find volume three because it's been a while so volume three i gave four stars as well volume four i gave a 4.5 um volume five i gave a five star this one and i think it was what did i say this one yeah it was a five star let me see, where was six? Where are you six? See, they're like, they don't have them in order over here. So that's why I don't know where volume six is. <laughs> For some reason it didn't do it that way. Okay, so this one was when it started going downhill. This one was a 3.25. Um, seven, I think was a four. Five? Let me see. I told you, yeah. Seven was a five. And then I already told you the rest, but we'll do it again. Like I said, eight was a 3.25. Nine was a four. And ten was a 3.25, I believe I said, right? Yep, 3.5. Um, out of volume 5 and volume 6, I mean 7, I would, I think volume 5 is probably my favorite. Even though know both of them were 5 stars, if I had to choose out of the all of them, this would be my favorite. 5. Yeah. But so close between these two, five and seven. So, yeah. Um, ten, I just wish, like I said, that there was more. It was fine, you know what I mean? But it wasn't, you know, what I wanted to be after, after volume nine. I mean, volume nine was just, like I said, start out kind of slow. But that last little bit just gave it that punch to give it a four. And. I wanted that feeling to go into volume 10, and it did not, unfortunately. But overall, like I said, it's like a four, low four, but not bad, right? I do want to um, read volume 11 when it comes out. I'm very curious because I did kind of like the ending, but at the same time, I didn't, if that makes sense. But, um, yeah, I just... Sometimes there was just too much nudity, you know, sex in these books. And don't get me wrong. I believe everybody has a right, to, you know, to do what they want. But I just, yeah, the, um, like the opening of volume, what was it, eight? I'm trying to find if it was eight. Because I moved, I got them all mixed up here. So let's see. I think it was eight. Yeah, see, it starts with abortion town. And I think that everybody has, you know, that it's their right to do what they want with their body. But I just, like, I wish that if they were going to do, talk about like that, that they would have had it at the beginning. It just seems like it came out of nowhere. But then again, I understand that, you know, it was to, like, help with the plot and stuff. But I just wish it would have been, like you know, mention more about certain things and things like that, but I still, like, like, you know, don't fault him, um, the author for putting it in there, you know, but I just wish it would have been sooner and they would go more into it. I just felt like it was in there just to, like, be in there and not, yeah, not to, like, make the plot, like, any better. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but, you know, yeah, I don't know exactly what, I'm sa what I mean, but, yeah, I just wanted a little bit, like, more, like, 
what's going on with this, you know? Like, I just, yeah. Cause, yeah, but other than that, you know, that ain't why, um, like, you know, um, I only gave it, what did I say I gave eight? 3.25? Yeah. Most of the reason why it was such a low rating is because I was just bored. To be perfectly honest, nothing really happened. This one and volume 10 was really, really boring. And I don't see, like, <laughs> you know, it didn't give me anything in that, <clears throat> that I wanted in those two. But I still liked it. So there's that. Um, yeah, but like I said, I think I, I it was a good thing, and I definitely want to continue on. Definitely need to see what's going to happen after volume 10. So yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. Let me know what you guys think about this. Did you guys read all 10? What did you feel about them? What was your favorite one out of the one through ten? Um, what was your least favorite? What was some of the things you liked about it? Some of the things you didn't? Like, I liked um, the girl. Why do I always put Hazel? And I liked, um, I don't remember the um, robot boy's name. The one that's the, you know, robot. I don't remember his name. But anyways, yeah. But those two and the little, um, what was that thing? Did you have a picture of that one at all? Let me see. I'm trying to... I don't even have these in order, but that's okay. We don't need them in order. I'm trying to find that that character that I liked. But I don't think they have the character on any of the cover. Let me see if I can find them in one of these. I'll show you who I'm talking about. I like the lion cat, the light, the one that can tell if you're lying, that cat. And I'm trying to find, yeah, here he is. Here he is. I like him a lot. Yeah, so those were my favorite characters. But yeah, let me know also what some of your favorite characters were. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, you know the, the, the drill. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. Hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever another video like this is up for your viewing pleasures. And until next time, I am out of here. Happy reading. Thanks for being awesome. And remember, DNF, DNF, DNF. Don't be afraid of DNF. Don't get into a reading slump by continuing that book. And until next time. Like I said, happy reading. Bye.